If going to convert miles per hour to kilometers per hour using this method that I showed you with first principles, we would need to know what the conversion was. Most of you know that one mile is the same as 1,760 yards. Um, um, we also need to know that one meter is the same as 1.0936 yards. And then we can pretty much convert any mile per hour unit to anything else. So if we were going to go from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. Miles per hour, we just often write it as MPH, but kilometers per hour, it's important that you put the dividing line here. It's actually telling you that it's per hour. So let's think of um, a pretty standard driving speed in town, um, 30 miles per hour. 30 miles per hour in to kilometers per hour. Well, let's start with what that means. 30 miles per hour. The first thing we'd like to get rid of is this miles. Okay, then we'd need to divide by miles here. And how could we do that? Well, we know that one mile is the same as 1760 yards and I'll abbreviate yards YD we often do okay now we've got miles divided by miles so now we've got how many 30 miles per hour is in terms of yards per hour but we don't want it in terms of yards per hour so we want it in terms of kilometers let's first change it to meters so we have yards here and we'd like to convert to meters if we're gonna change to meters we have to divide by yards and at the same time multiply by meters. What do we know about meters? Well, we do know that one meter is the same as 1.0936 yards. So now we've got how many meters per hour is, but we want kilometers per hour. So the final thing we have to do is divide by meters and multiply by kilometers. We know that one kilometer is the same as 1,000 meters. What do we get here then? Well, if we just look at the units, a yard up here disappears after we divide yard by yard. That gives us one. The meter up here disappears because we divide meter by meter and that gives us one. So the units that we've got left are kilometers per hour. That's exactly what we wanted. We're multiplying by one here and here, but that's not going to change the answer, so we can just take those away. And we're dividing by one as well here, and that's not going to change the answer, so we can take that away. So our final calculation will be to multiply 30 by 1760 and divide it by 1.0936. Times a thousand. Let's just make that a little bit easier to calculate. 30 times 1760 divided by, if we multiply all of this by a thousand, we'd get 1093.6. And our units will be kilometers per hour, and our units here will be kilometers per hour. So now we can just punch those numbers into the calculator and we'll see what answer we get. So we had 30 times 1760 divided by 1.0936 divided by 1000. That's 48.28. Notice that I actually did this calculation. Let's just check that I've done the conversion right. It's always good to double check all your calculations. Let's see what it is now if we do 30 times 1760 divided by 1093.6. If I've done the calculations right, I should get the same answer. 48.2809 kilometers per hour, which of course, we should then approximate to 48 kilometers per hour.
to zero decimals. We had no decimals in miles per hour and an approximation of just driving down the street, so it's more than enough with 48. So we can see that 30 miles per hour is a little bit slower actually than the standard um, speed limit in European cities, which is often 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's go back then. Let's uh, say that we had 50 kilometers per hour. And we're wondering how many miles per hour that would be. Well, we write it as 50 kilometers per hour. Um, what we'd like to do here is to get rid of kilometers and change it to meters. We know that one kilometer is the same as 1,000 meters. Now we have the unit in meters per hour. We can now change it to yards per hour, get rid of the meters by dividing by meters and multiplying by yards. We need to remember the conversion factor, which was one meter is 1.0936 yards. So going back here, we know that one meter is the same as 1.0936 yards. Now we've got the, the meters disappear. Meter divided by meter is one. We now have how many yards we can travel in one hour, but we would actually like to know how many miles we can travel in one hour. So we now need to divide yards by yards to get rid of the yards, and at the same time multiply by miles, and we'll get the miles. Okay, now we need to remember our conversion unit between miles and yards. That's again up here. One mile was the same as 1,760 yards. So one mile is the same as 1,760 yards. So if we look at our units here, yards divided by yards is one. Uh, what do we have left? We have on the top line, we have miles. And on the denominator, we have hours. So we know that our units are correct now. Kilometers cancelled with kilometers, meters with meters, yards with yards. And what numbers do we have left up here? We have 50 multiplied by 1,000 multiplied by 1.0936, all divided by 1,760. Didn't really have enough space there. It's a little bit cramped, so... Let's rewrite that. 1,000 times 1.0936. Um, that's... And again, I'm using the multiplication sign of Sweden instead of the multiplication sign of America and England, which is... Uh, in Sweden, they use a dot to show multiplication instead of the time sign. So we have 1,000 times 1.0936. That'd be the same as... 50 times 1,093.6 divided by 1,760 miles per hour. Okay, let's calculate that. 50 times 1,093.6 divided by 1,760 equals 31.0. Seven miles per hour. Let's check that again. Make sure that we haven't made a mistake. We'll use these numbers up here now. Fifty times one thousand times one point zero nine three six divided by one thousand seven hundred sixty. Thirty one point zero six eight again. So now we've checked the calculation twice. We know that we've got the right numbers. So it's 31.07 continued, which is approximately 31 miles per hour. So we know that 50 kilometers per hour is the same as 31 miles per hour. And that would be in line with our findings that we found that 30 miles per hour was a little bit 
um, less than 50 kilometers per hour. So when we're doing 50 kilometers per hour, we would expect it to be slightly more than 30 per hour. So good luck with uh, changing units and practicing with that.